Alright. Alright. So if we check the syllabus, we can see that the topic of today's lecture is Papa John Paul II, Heresy and Upheaval in the Pizza States. In our last lecture, you may recall, we covered the conclusion of the Taco Wars, commonly phrased in Latin as the Taco Bellum, and the ramifications of the Treaty of Vienna Sausages. Today, we will delve into the life and times of a seminal figure in the church, Papa John Paul II. Now, does anyone in the class, does anyone in the class know anything about Papa John Paul II? No! No, obviously. Oh, uh, didn't, I, the one thing I know about him is, didn't he, uh, get into a fight, uh, a fist fight on the, uh, the top of volcano? Yes, he did. And that is what led to his death. And we will be covering this later. But really, in order to understand the life of Papa John Paul II, we need to delve into this in the story. 228 years before the birth of the man who would later become Papa John Paul II. A friar by the name of Guy Fieri posted a document on the door of the cathedral which would come to be known as the 95 Topics. This list was the root of what became known as the Pineapple Heresy, or the Guy Fieri to many of its detractors. Its theological implications were broad and profound. Fieri's own work, as well as the work of subsequent scholars, called into question the very foundations of the Church of Jesus Christ. The critique originated from a one-star review of the stuffed crust pizza offered by the Church. I gotta go. <laughs> the central question of the Reformation was, is stuffed oh, crust pizza holy pizza or holy cheesy bread? <laughs> or does the nature of the pizza subsume the nature of the cheesy bread? Naturally, various theologians found different answers to this question. With some believing that all forms of pasta and pizza are equally valid, and others believing in the adoptionism heresy, that the pizza merely adopted the cheesy bread, and it was not part of its divine nature. This is, of course, best summed up in the variations on the Lord's Prayer, known as Our Papa Who Art in Oven. You've all read that in your reading. I won't go into it here. In addition, to theological consequences, the Pineapple Heresy, of course, also had political consequences, far-reaching across the continent. The pizza states sided against those that would challenge its authority, naturally, but for other leaders, the choice was not so easy. The Holy Roman Empire, as a loose confederation of pasta enthusiasts, dealt with numerous internal struggles, most notably the War of Spanish Succession. The Kingdom of Tarragon, Catalonia, as well as the two princes of Andorra, of course remained the staunchest allies of the pizza states throughout this era. Following the defenestration of Flavortown, the 30 minutes or less war erupted across the continent. The introduction of the movable type pizza press enabled all sides to spread propaganda readily, radicalizing all involved. Furthermore, the introduction of innovative weapons such as pepper flakes and garlic bombs led to widespread devastation across the continent. This, of course, culminated in the Treaty of Zestphalia, uh, which entrenched the pineapple heresy. Of course, this is all addressed in your reading. I will not go terribly in depth with it here. Finally, this brings us to the reign of Papa John Paul the First. So, Papa John Paul the First. Scholars generally agree that this period represented a geopolitical shift in the foreign policies of the pizza states. Following the schism caused by Henry the 999, by the foundation of the Godfather Church, and the subsequent dissolution of the franchises, Papa John Paul I broke 
his alliance with the deep dish communion and the Holy Roman Empire. This, of course, caused the deep personal resentment between Papa John Paul I and his chief rival, King Charles, Entertainment Cheese, the first of France. The subsequent war left the pizza states devastated. To make matters worse, Papa John Paul I perished after choking on one of those weird little peppers that comes with the pizza. And so he was succeeded by Papa John Paul II. Woo! Thank you. This new papa sought to quell the internal dissent of the pizza states with a series of pizza bolts. The most important among these, of course, was the Vatican II, which established a second Vatican as a tax dodge. <laughs> and eventually, of course, the man who would, be, who would come to be in charge of this second Vatican was the man that history has come to be known as anti-papa John Paul II. And of course, the schism would eventually result in the death of both men dying in a fist fight on a, on a volcano. And that, of course, will be the topic for next week's lecture. Woo! Please read chapters 300 through 350 in Miller, and I will see you next week. Woo!